You have 200 feet of fencing to enclose a rectangular plot that borders on a river. If you do not fence the side along the river, find the length and the width of the plot that will maximize the area. What is the largest area that can be enclosed? So what I do know is I have 200 feet of fencing. So I'm going to let x equal the width of my lot. And my lot is rectangular, so if this side is x, the side across from it will be the same length, which will also be x. Now I went out and bought 200 feet of fencing. I used x up here at the top. I used x down here. So how much fencing do I have left? Well, I bought 200 feet minus, I used x here, and minus another x, that would be minus 2x. So I have 200 minus 2x feet left for this side. Now, if I needed to put fence over here, I would have to divide this by 2 so I could put it on both sides. But the river's over here. So I'm not going to fence along the river. So I will not divide this by 2. I will use all the remaining fence for this one side. Now we know that the area of something is the length times the width. So I will have x times 200 minus 2x and that will be my area. I'm going to use some distributive property here. I'll have 200x minus 2x squared and I will let my area equal y. And if you notice, I just have a parabola here. I can rewrite this as y is equal to, and I'll write negative 2x squared plus 200x. So in the math world, this is an upside down parabola. And I'm just looking for the vertex. So I'm going to use x is equal to negative b over 2a to find my vertex. So x will equal negative b, which happens to be 200 over 2 times a negative 2. So that will be negative 200 over negative 4, which is a positive 50. So I will plug 50 in for my x. And 50 squared times a negative 2 is negative 5,000. 200 times 50 is 10,000. So my y Negative 5,000 plus 10,000 is a positive 5,000. So in the math world, my vertex is 50, 5,000. So my x is 50, and when I plug in 50 for this side, I will get 100. And 5,000 was my y, or you could say 100 times 50 and get 5,000. So the area is 5,000. So the dimensions should be 50 by 100, and the largest area that can be enclosed is 5,000. So in this problem, if I didn't know my math, and I just knew, knew that I had 200 feet of fencing, I could have let the two ends be 10. 10 plus 10 is 20. That's going to leave me 180 feet for this length. So what's the area in there? Well, length times width, 180 times 10 is 1,800. That is not very much room for my pigs or my cows or whatever I'm trying to fence in. What if you decided to make this side 20? It's a rectangle, so this side would also be 20. 20 plus 20 is 40. That will leave me 160 feet left for this side. The area of that would be 20 times 160 would be 3,200. What if I decided to make this 30, which of course means this side would be 30. 30 plus 30 is 60, so that would leave me 140 for this side. The area would then be 4,200. I could be here all day long trying to decide how to maximize this area. But, if you're familiar with your algebra, you can quickly do your length times width, find the vertex of that quadratic equation, and know that that will be the maximum area. So, 
Thank the math teacher.